Osas Isaac, who hails from Udo in Obia Southwest local government area of Edo State, walked into the premises of independent television and radio at Oluku to narrate his ordeal after footage of him at the isolation center at Stella Ambassador Women and Children Hospital was made public. Mr. Isaac alleged that while at the isolation center, he was told to appear on camera to attest to the world that coronavirus is real, even though he was not a COVID-19 patient. I know cough. Anything you know they do me, even kata, you know they do me, nothing, nothing. Well, I'm only, I come, I eat, they don't even give me medicine. I come meet people that they play cabo, they play what, they play ball for them. And I say, but this one not come be treatment again. <laughs> Commenting on how he got to the isolation center, Osas Isaac said he was asked by those state government official at one of the screening centers to come for tests. And one month after, he was informed that his result was positive, even though he never exhibited any coronavirus symptoms. The woman go report me for his side of my office. I said, How's it going? That's all uh, security way they contact me. Say, Shush, say, make me come out. Say, they, uh, they, uh, they say, me carry a. Uh, uh, cola viral. Now then me go call the woman. Say, madam, me don't like what you do. Where you there now? You don't go disgrace me for it. He said, yes. He said, tell me your stuff. Say, you go disgrace me. Isaac said, after 16 days at the isolation center in Benin City, he was discharged. Only for him to be stigmatized by some members of the public. I lose my job. I lose my house. I, the owner of us, he there abroad. He all call me when I was the rich He said, so I beg. He said, you give me 24 hours to pack, to leave the house. He said he want to put people for that room. Now say, ah, sir, you don't reach like that. He said he don't terminate the cost call. The news crew proceeded to the office of the bottling company where Osat claimed he worked to ascertain the true position of things. A top management staff of the company who spoke off camera said Mr. Osas Isaac was never a staff of the company but a casual worker with a contractor doing business with the company. The staff said Isaac has been laid off before he was taken to the isolation center. The news crew also visited house number 11, Court Road, Ekadolo, where wife of the landlord said Isaac was not given an eviction notice because of being an alleged COVID-19 patient. He's owing his mom's man asking to pack. He have not paid house rent. So that is it. It's going to two months now. One month plus. One month plus. Yeah. So when did your husband uh, give him the quick notice to leave the house? Is it after he came from the isolation center? Yes. When he came. So how long has he been staying in your house before this incident? Last year. He has been staying here for more than one year. Yeah. Has he been paying his rent regularly before? Yes, he's paying. Coordinator of the Ovia Notice Health Center, Mrs. Isoke Agbogun, said Osas Isaac tested positive for COVID-19 and was treated before he was discharged. So when he came out, he called me. The man said that uh, there's no job for him again. I told the chairman. The chairman came down himself. Ovia Notice Local Government Chairman, Honorable Scott Memudia. He came down. We went together with uh, Osamui. We saw the general manager and he said, that this boy is on the direct staff, is under a contractor. And they will call the contractor and ask him why. So the contractor said that they were using a um, seven forklift before, now and they've reduced it to four. And because of COVID-19, the market has dropped. So they've been pu pushing aside some staff that is not the only one. Government at all levels have advocated the need for people not to stigmatize COVID-19 patients as the virus is not a dead sentence. And it's our view to address such persons. I'm not confirming that it's true, but however, if it is, uh, the management of his workplace should be put called to question, and then even the landlord of the house should be called to question. And I think the uh, state government will take any such uh, institution or individual, uh, we will take them and uh, call them to order. Accusations and deniers have characterized the story of Osas Isaac. But one fact remains that the young man is not jobless and almost homeless due to the quit notice served on him by his landlord. For some persons who spoke off camera, the best thing to do is for those in authority to engage the young man in meaningful ventures because, as the saying goes, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. From Benin, Best Mbire reporting.